Today, you'll get not only one, but two legendary Adidas remake boots. They're called the Legends Pack, so go figure. But if you're interested in them and want to know more, today I'll tell you about what's good, and maybe what could be better, about the Adipure and the Predator Pulse. To let you know if you should click the link up there to go and buy them. But, but hold up, Jay. Didn't we get a Predator Pulse remake just a couple of months ago? And yeah, <laughs> yeah, we did. But now we get another one in black, white, and gold. So stop complaining, yeah, because it's it's cool looking. Anyways, the Legends pack here is inspired by some of Adidas's legends in the game. And when I say in the game, I mean it's in the game. Because the story goes that the boots will be worn in FIFA 22 by Beckham, Zidane, Kaká, and Steven Gerrard's icon cards. And actually, they will only be worn in the game. And by you, of course. So the most interesting part of the pack, to me at least, is the remake of the Adipure one that came out in late 2007 as Adidas's kind of counter move to Nike's Temple Legend as this modern heritage boot. And the remake is the same, meaning that you get the same super soft, pliable K leather upper, but with a Nemesis outsole to make the boot feel like something from 2021, especially in terms of wick. Now, it's not 100% a one-to-one -one upper, however, like we see on other remakes, because the original had this shiny coating to it, whereas the new one doesn't. And that means that the leather feels a bit more raw and pure, and also has a slightly more matte and tacky and, I would say, less slippery touch on the ball. Foot, the remake feels just as good as I remember the OG doing back in 2007, 2008. Because the leather here is still super soft and pliable and just molds around your foot like a padded, comfortable glove. It's really nice. And because the boot is a relatively sleek fit as well and has this low toe box, combined with how the leather feels padded in this almost spongy, elegant way, it feels about as classy on the ball as the boot looks. And it's really lightweight too, so a very good combination. It's not perfect though, the heel is still a little bit slippery and the lockdown could be better. But I'd still say that this is a better modern leather boot than the Copa Census. And it's 14 years old. Think about that for a second. Size, I will go true to size for the best possible fit. You can go down half a size, but I will stay true to size. And the price is, let me check, 300 euros, 300 euros. That's double of what the original cost. Ah, I this. The Predator Pulse is the same as the UCL pack, but just in a different for me, slightly better colorway. It's brought back from late 2003. Features this relatively soft and supple K leather forefoot. You have these also pretty low profile SL rubber predator fins and a decently comfortable and lightweight fit. And that also means that by modern standards, it's actually really playable, except for the fact that the lockdown could be a little bit better. But get a pair of grip socks and consider maybe not going full Beckham, folding down the tongue, and you will definitely be fine. Now, from a fit point of view, I would still go true to size in this. And I also think it's relatively forgiving, even for people with wide feet, making it pretty accessible to everyone. So for me, this is probably the best performing Predator alongside the Japan Blue Mania. So pretty good. But there is a but. I think the boots are cool, and I really love how the pack looks. But Adidas, we have to talk about these prices. I mean, 350 euros for a Predator Pulse that you just released in another colorway two months ago, and 300 euros for an Adipure that cost, what, half when the boots originally launched back in the day, on a Nemesis outsole that you already have, I think it's just a little bit steep. And you really gotta want these boots, the remakes, in order to pay that higher a price. Just imagine if this was 220 euros like the other point ones, and this was 280 euros like the pluses. Wouldn't that make them more accessible for everyone to try? It's just a bit of a shame that people might miss out because of the price. 
Because not only are they really fun from a nostalgia point of view, but they're also just genuinely good football boots to wear and to play in. If you can get your size at least, they only make these down to size UK 7, which if you're size UK 6.5, that sucks. A lot. I'll also be honest though, I think it is a nice execution with some nice boots. And if you can live with the little, should we call them niggles, with the price and the size, I think you'll enjoy them a lot. Especially the Adipure. What do you actually think about that coming back? Let me know in the comment section right down below and then hurry up and hop over to unisportstore.com via the link right over there to cop them and be the classiest looking player on the pitch. But don't do that, of course, before you make sure you've subscribed to the channel with the notifications on and maybe also like the video if you had a good time. And then if you want to improve as a football player, you can come back and check out the playlist right down there. I highly recommend it. With those words, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.